Hey guys, what's up? Angus here out on the range today. Sorry if there's a little bit of wind buffeting the camera. It's pretty windy today. Typical day in October out here where I'm from. So, let's get on with this video. Today we're going to be doing a shooting test, as you can tell by the target in the background. It's of the ICS-92, also known as ICS's standard Galil. Now this gun is available on airsawstation.com for about $350. That is an excellent price for this gun. Very high quality, very nicely made. ICS has done a great job creating this gun, and we're here to see how accurate it is. Also test out the hop-up unit a bit. Have my hop-up fully adjusted, an 8.4 volt, 1100 milliamp stick type battery up top, and a 430 round magazine loaded up with TSB.2 RAM BBs. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into the shooting test. All right, so you're zoomed in at 50 feet. Let's see what we can do on semi-auto. Now full. All right, so at 50 feet, it's a no-brainer. Any gun can shoot 50 feet. Any gun's going to hear target accurately on semi and fully automatic, exactly like the ICS Galil. All right, so you're zoomed in at 100 feet. Let's see what we can do on semi-auto. All right, so on semi-automatic, you're definitely going to be able to hit your target at 100 feet. Sorry if I'm missing a little bit. Again, it is pretty windy out here today. BB's point twos are getting taken off a bit. Let's switch to full auto. As you can see, 100 feet, fully automatic, you're definitely going to be able to hit your target. All right, so we are now at the maximum distance, 150 feet. Let's see if we can hit this target. So, semi-auto, as you can see, you can hit your target at 150 feet. Let's switch to fully automatic. All right, so at 150 feet, as you can see, on fully automatic, even though my battery is dying, BBs are coming incredibly close to the target, and you can hit your target. Let's go to the final conclusion. All right, so now for the final conclusion. can shoot 50 feet as the ICS Galil can, semi or fully automatic, easy hit. Moving on to 100 feet, again, the Galil is capable of taking down that target on semi and full auto. A little bit more likely on full considering there is a spray of BBs. 150 feet, when it's this windy out, using .2s, you're going to have a slim chance of hitting your targets. You may want to switch to some .23s or .25 grand BBs and make sure that hop up is adjusted. But as you can see, we were capable of hitting the target and the ones that missed, they barely missed. Plus guys, you got to remember, that target, that's a, that's a little smaller than a crouching player. So a full-size man, easy hit with this gun. So overall, ICS's Galil has very good accuracy. It's made for woodland. It's definitely going to be able to take down players from the extreme distances of woodland. Maybe up to 200 feet you could shoot with this gun, but I'm not sure 150 feet is a great distance for this thing to hit, to hit opponents at. And it's, cr it's thrown it at 400 feet per second, which is excellent for field. The hop-up unit on this gun, very nice, easy to adjust in the field. Simply slip your, in, your finger in there, it does not require an Allen key or a screwdriver. Simply push it with your finger to adjust your hop-up perfectly. So this has been the accuracy test on the ICS Glial. Overall, I can say this is a very accurate airsoft weapon. If you're planning on picking this thing up, it's only $350 at airsoftstation.com. Excellent for a woodland game. This gun is very accurate. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.